Hey what's up everybody, welcome back to a new video on the channel. So in today's video we are going to check out some new features that have been released on Wix, some new SEO tools that have been released and some new features. So I decided this would be a good time to make a follow up video on my advanced Wix SEO series. So if you want to learn a bit more about the new features that are on Wix and how you can improve your Wix SEO, this is going to be the video for you. And if you also want to learn more specifically what you can do for your Wix website in order to rank better in Google and other search engines, uh, go back and watch the whole series that I have on Wix Advanced SEO. The series will be linked down below so you can watch all of the videos to get more hands-on experience on Wix SEO specifically. With that being said, let's just get into this video and hopefully you guys enjoy. Okay, so it's been a few months since we checked out Wix SEO and went into some of the features that you can utilize in order to rank better with your Wix website. And since that time, there has been a lot of updates from Wix, which have been really appreciated, not only by me, but also the community overall. Uh, Wix has always gotten a lot of hate for their SEO and their lack of features for SEO and lack of optimization that could be done on their platform. Uh, but in the last few months, I've noticed that Wix has picked this up and they have started expanding a lot more into some more advanced SEO features, allowing you to customize features such as canonical tags. You can do your redirections now. Uh, there are a lot of different features that have been updated and they have also made it in a very user friendly way. Uh, so you could essentially go ahead and, and do some more advanced SEO settings and change things without it seeming that difficult. Uh, but as we did in this advanced Wix SEO series, we have checked out a lot of the aspects that were on the Wix platform. Uh, but since then, Wix has released the SEO tools to optimize your site uh, for search engines so more people can find you online. That all sounds great. Uh, so what the Wix used to have, or they still do have, the SEO helper or SEO tool, which essentially helps you optimize your Wix website. Uh, but in these new tools that they have released, you have your SEO patterns, you can do your site verification uh, in a more user-friendly way. So connecting your site to Google Search Console, I would guess Google Analytics uh, and Bing and whatever else. I haven't looked too deep into the site verification, what other tools they have. Let's just do it real quick. So Pinterest, Bing, Jandex as well, and also Google Search Console and you can also add it for your custom code as you could before uh, but making it this easy for you as a user to actually do your site verification is a good improvement from what they had before uh, in today's video i decided that we should check out the seo patterns the seo patterns will essentially be the way that you can automize your optimization across all of the pages using patterns uh, which essentially will make it easier for you to do your SEO, especially if you have a bigger site with a lot of different pages where it can get a bit tricky to do every page manually. So the SEO patterns will definitely be super useful for you. Uh, so let's just get into it. So what we want to do is hop over to the SEO tools in VEX and then go to SEO patterns. Uh, in your SEO patterns, you can view the patterns that you have. So just go ahead and click view. And in these pages, you have your page types. So this will depend on what kind of website you have. If you have e-commerce functionality on your site, uh, you would have e-commerce here as well. Uh, but for this test website that I currently have, we only have site pages and pro galleries. Uh, but with these site patterns, they will generally follow the same rules across all of the different page types. So in this video, we're just going to check out site pages. And then you can utilize this across all of your different page types. So jumping into site pages, you click on edit pattern. And what we'll see here is that we have both search engines and social media. So customize, customize how search engines and social networks display your site pages. And then you can learn more as well if you want to do that. Structure data to so help search engines better understand your content on your site pages. So you can add your structured data so you can rank for recipes and news. And a lot of different things can be done through structured data. Uh, but jumping into advanced SEO text as well, you can be able to review additional info about your site pages for search engines. 
um, editing recommended for experts only and as we are the experts right here watching this video we are gonna check out the advanced seo tags as well uh, but starting off with the search engines and social media just click on the see more then we'll see what variables we have so for the seo title this will be the title tag of your page i'm not sure why they would title it seo title but i guess this is a better way to do it uh, so your seo title is the first thing people see on google use variables and words to tell people about your site what the title tag is and i'm i don't think i will go too much into detail here because you should already have watched my series to understand what a page title is but it will also show you a preview here on the side so i can just do a quick overview uh the page title is or seo title as as wix is calling it here is going to be the title that people see when they search in google and for the SEO description, I'm just going to add some content right here just to give you an example. This will be the short description as well that people will see when people search on Google. So if you search for Nike shoes, the page title is most likely going to be something about Nike shoes. And then the description is going to probably be some sort of a short description of what essentially is on the page. Uh, usually include some kind of call to action as well. Uh, so that's essentially the basics of the page title and the meta description. The cool thing here that they've added for the SEO title and if you just started using Wix, you're like, oh, this has always been here. But no, it hasn't always been here. The new feature is that you have the patterns that you can use in your title tag and in your SEO description or meta description that is actually called uh, and add these patterns to make it easier for you to optimize across all of your pages. So imagine if you have uh, thousands of pages hundreds of thousands of pages or millions of pages on your site going through manually and updating your title tags or meta descriptions are gonna be a long process so what you want to do is normally add a, a format for these bigger sites where everything can be done manually using your patterns so here it will be the page name and site name so page name would be the page name, the, the name of the page itself that you're editing. So if your page would be called um, about us, then the SEO title would be about us and site name, which is going to be the name of your company, the name of your business, whatever you have decided to be your site name is going to be right here. So this would essentially be uh, about us and then let's say YouTube test demo would be our page title that would be a great way to do it especially if you are working across uh, e-commerce pages specifically uh, because what you want to do is just make it as fast as possible to add new products but also optimize your SEO title uh, you can also add more variables to this as well. So you can add your page name, page URL. I wouldn't see the benefit of adding your page URL to your SEO title, but if you are looking to add it as your SEO title, go ahead and do that. Uh, site name, so seen in dashboard, you can have your social share image. I don't know why this would... Okay, so I'm, I have no idea why they would be able to add your social share image uh, as a pattern, but uh, okay. At least they give you the options to do so. Uh, business name, this is what you have in your general information. Business description, if you want to add that as well. Your logo, I'm not sure why that would be. I'm not sure why that would be an option as well. It seems a bit odd to me, but some of these make sense. So country, if you are in a specific state, city, or street address, that could be super useful to add to your page title if you're trying to target a specific location so if this page was about a, a barber in new york and yours your, your location is actually located in new york uh, you could be able to add your city location and then you would change this in your settings where you have your general information about your site and your business and this would essentially make it so my business name and city so this could be new york uh, san francisco whatever city you're located in you can add your city location as well manually to your patterns which is just a great way to make your site descriptions uh, for seo description i wouldn't necessarily want to make these manually based on um, these variables that we have 
because you can have the page name added manually and you can have your site name added manually or the maybe your business name having the same meta description across all of your pages doesn't make sense you want to make your meta description unique based on what the page is about so if we would make this seo description just our general business description it wouldn't make sense for users uh, who are searching for let's say a barber in new york and our business description uh, would be just a very generic uh, business description of our business. So for the SEO description, I would recommend you to do it manually, but you can still add your patterns just to ensure that there is something in your meta descriptions before you can go ahead and edit them yourself. Okay, so once we have finished with SEO description, we're gonna jump into page URL. Uh, as they've mentioned here as well, you are not gonna be able to edit the pattern of the URLs just yet. I'm guessing this will be a feature that will be coming up in the future. Um, this is something that's going to be more valuable because you have the page URL and perhaps you want to add the page URL as a variable page, uh, based on the page name. So the URL, URL slug would be based on the page name. Uh, I would love to see some more variables here. So maybe you can base your SEO title based on the H1 on your, on your website. Uh, so that would be a good variable to add in the SEO description. Perhaps the first paragraph on the web or on the page uh, would be a good way to extract some details directly from each page. Um, obviously, that is more advanced and hopefully Vix will add on to these features and add some more features in the future. Moving on from that, we also have the social sh social share. So social share is going to be when people link your website on their social media. How will it look? Uh, if you ever shared something on Facebook, let's say, you usually get this preview or link preview in, in Facebook directly, which has an image like this one right here. It has a title and also a short description of what's on the page, similar to what's on Google when you search. Not necessarily the same, but uh, it's fairly similar in the way that it's structured. So here you can add your social title. So this would be your title right here. So SEO title, and then you'll have your SEO description. This will be right here and social share image. SEO title, it makes sense just to have an SEO title because what it's gonna do is just extract it based on what your page title is. So in this case, it would be page name and site name. So about us, my business, and then that would be extracted and added to your social title as well. And for your social description, it makes sense as well. Just add your SEO description, so your meta description uh, directly as your uh, social description as well. Your social image is going to be your social share image. If you want it to be specific for each and every page, you can go ahead and do that manually. Uh, but you can also have one specifically picked uh social share image that you can use across all of your pages this will basically just be a picture on each and every uh, share that you get on social media ideally you would have a custom image for each and every page because each and every page is going to cover a specific topic or a specific product uh, so let's say you're an e-commerce website and you sell tons of different products when, if someone would share on social media your link and it only is a the link itself is to a pair of shoes but the picture would be on a on a shirt it doesn't really make sense to have it that way uh, unless you make a very general social share image so maybe just your logo or something else uh, but i would guess that that would have an influence on how many people would actually click on your link so i would recommend you to just do this manually uh, but if you want to do it as well across all of your sites, you can do it here. So you can just get an image uh, and then add it as your social image. Once we have made all those changes, we can jump down into the structured data section, structured data settings. Still, this is something that you're going to have to do directly under each and every page. And we have covered this before. Uh, so this is not something that you are just yet going to add into your patterns, but hopefully this might actually be added in the future. Jumping from structured data into the advanced SEO tags. So this is going to be your canonicals, your OG site name, OG type and OG URL. Nothing specific here that you want to change your canonical. You always want your pages to be self-referencing. So page URL makes sense. OG site name, your site name makes sense as well, depending on what you have set for your site name. If your site name is just your business name, 
that makes sense so from here everything looks essentially good at the moment uh, what will be different here is that across some other pages so if you do have an article uh, you will be able to put your the author as well uh, so there are some different elements that will be available depending on the page type that you're editing for. So that will depend on what features you're using on your website uh, and what kind of features that you currently have and how you want to optimize those. Uh, but for this website and what we have changed just now would be an ideal solution for our company in this case. Um, obviously, you want to have a deep look into your page name and your site name and making sure that your page name for your SEO titles makes sense because if your current page names are totally irrelevant for what you're trying to target, it wouldn't make sense to do it this way. So you have to kind of go through your page names. Do you have a real structure behind your page names? And does it make sense to add a pattern? So overall, the new features with the patterns are a great advancement that VIX has made for SEO. Uh, it's not going to be the feature that should be utilized by everyone. I still recommend you to do majority of the work manually if you have a smaller site. But if you do have a website with thousands, if not millions of pages, this is going to be the best way for you to update everything without having to do it manually but it's not all the time going to be the best result because when you do it manually you have more time to think through every page what is the goal of this page what should be in the page title what should be in the meta description you have more time to do it when you do it manually and when you do it automatically often there will be some issues along the way but if there are issues you can always go through manually and just look through and edit once the patterns are live on the site but that is going to be for this video hopefully you did enjoy some of the new features that vix has released uh, i will be making more videos on the new features as well so make sure you stay tuned for that and if you have missed my previous videos on advanced vix seo make sure you check out the series that i have linked below but that's gonna be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below i try to answer as many comments as i can and make sure you leave a like or a dislike if you didn't like the video and subscribe if you want more content like this one but that is gonna be it for this video hopefully you enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time